Hey hi everyone, Phil here and welcome to the channel that makes SPSS fun. Even I'm laughing at that one. Today's question is from Sport Billy. Hello, could you please help me? I have four different variables regarding recycling. Paper, glass, plastic, metals. The values are 1 equals yes, 2 equals no. I created multiple response set afterwards and got the result, but how can I check how many people recycle all four materials? Thank you. Alright, let's g give you an example. I set up here paper, glass, plastic recycling and there are five participants and you can just see by eye that the first participant, first case, that is recycle person who recycles all three and the third case as well. So out of the five, two do that. But if you have a longer uh, data data set, then it's going to be hard to look by eye. So here's how we can do it. Go to transform. Uh, sorry, go to data, and you want to go to select cases, and we want to check if condition is satisfied. So what we're doing here is using a filter. Very useful when we want to look for cases that satisfy certain criteria. Now we want where paper, glass and plastic is all yes. Now remember we coded that we coded that one following Sport Villi. So uh, I, sh I should show you that. Yeah, so each of them I've coded it one is yes. All right. So if condition is satisfied, we'll check that if and we transfer all three of well, paper and we want and glass oh glass and plastic all right so we want all of those to say yes which was coded one so press equal one and then continue you can see now that's the condition we have and if we go OK now go to the data view and can you see in the left column here we've got strikeouts strikeouts for the cases which do not satisfy a condition now I want to add up all the cases which satisfy a condition so we go to analyze descriptive stats frequencies and we can take take any of these variables over because we just want to count how many of them satisfy the criteria let's create the one we just create let's take the one we just created it's want to display the frequency table okay now we know the answer is two and sure enough two okay valid two missing none so it's two out of five look anywhere there it says the same thing if you wanted to do any other ones just to show you that it works for any of the other variables it doesn't matter which variable you take let's take glass it's gonna say two again there okay so sport Billy that was one month ago um, but I'm sure this will help other people. Okay, good day folks.